very natural, I love it. <laughs> Where's your little team effort going on here, guys? Team here. Let me see now. These are copying us. Uh, also, yeah, with three beakers, one with insulation here and a tin foil around this beaker. And the reaction will take place here, and then we'll put this in on top of it with our egg in it. And we'll cover this, we'll cover this again with our lid. It's, it's 95, come on, go, go, right, go, go, go. Right. I'm tiny, don't worry. <coughs> That's actually a great time to have it. Just lovely. I can't throw the gun. Okay. <laughs> Someone put their hand over the tinfoil, you can feel the heat from right beside it. 
You shouldn't be able to feel heat coming out. Out the, out the hole, yeah. That's what, what's the hole? That's actually the weak point of the air. Oh, okay. oh, of course. So let me have a little bit of video there. I hope that goes in now. I hope that goes in as well, because if it doesn't work well... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> it's a funny one. Hang on a second. Sean, I think I'm looking... Very 
your process, any sign of anything not solidified in order of Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> 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 of course he's, did you put it in anything? <laughs> no, we don't. Of course, Steve. No, that's the only one that, what? It's completely nothing. Yeah, keep passing. 
I think as regards chemical um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 and group three, is it? No, group four. Where was the egg? But the egg wasn't in the middle. The egg was in the middle of the beaker and it was another beaker that was inside and it was inside another. The big one. Like the egg actually had the force beaker and then we had the egg in the second. Okay. Alright, more edibles. Okay. What's this?
go through our very labor-intensive research and complex things. <laughs> so I do find that hopefully and solve this mystery. This could change your world. <laughs> Now, it may be difficult to understand, so we'll put it in layman's terms for you. Basically, we compared one gram of antacids to about one gram of baking soda. And by the volume of the gas increases, the temperature will increase proportionally. Therefore, graph volume against, against temperature is a straight line graph through the origin, proving the relationship is proportional, thus proving the law. Uh, in the case of Avogadro's law, equal volumes of gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of moles. This means the relationship exists. Pressure, and uh, are able to still verify that uh, pressure is in the proportion of volume. Different, different amounts of different things, okay? So when, when we have the five beakers, what we wanted to do, what we did was we added 20 centimeters cubed of pH2SO4, we added that to beaker one, and pressed the stop clock and took it to record the time for it to turn from clear to blue black, blue black okay? And we, did, we repeated that procedure for beakers from two to five and we got the time for each one of them. Um, we made the graph then of the time. Okay, we're doing an experiment at uh, ISO 70. And the problem was for a water-based paint, water was on it, but for oil-based paint, it requires a few minutes for it to And then we had the nail polish paper, which is the organic of and that's used in the green nail polish, and how does this work? So to understand the solubility of systemic acid in water and dark green paper, and it determines the distribution. This includes gill flukes, or um, fish TVs that bad are being used against. It's also an antifungal and can be used to kill fungal infection in fish. Uh, so, but after some time, Mr. Trevor can know that the fish weren't making any progress, and so he contacted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, to, uh, to find out what colour had gone, the green colour from the mammary had been gone from the fish tank. Uh, he told them that there had been alkaline materials in the fish tank and that it had been sitting uh, in direct sunlight and the, temp the temperature had peaked at 30. Yeah, it was 0.19. Right. Well, Sorority acid is used in the atmosphere to produce acetophilic acid, which is our aspirin, and acetic acid is another byproduct of the reaction. So we're going to take you through the procedure now. First, we add 256 milligrams of acetic acid to the point. <coughs> Stop. You know, your heart, it has to stop um, your pain because it stops cells from making prostaglandin, which basically um, causes <laughs> <your pain. laughs> Okay, so our um, problem was the lab expressed a new pharmaceutical company in Dublin, and the, the first product to be manufactured is aspirin. However, the product of the students that are special of this mobile.